This is another tips and tricks Terraria video. If you haven't watched the first one, go check it out. I'll be putting a link in the description. In the last video, I said if we got 100 likes, I'll make a second part, so here we go. For this first trick, what you want to do is, you want to get a friend. Most of these tricks are going to be with another friend. You need at least two people. You and somebody else. So you want to go to Tutorial. You want to open up the menu and go to Journey. And then once you're in Journey, you want to get your friend to send you an invite to his world. And then you join it. Once you join it, all you got to do now is open up the menu again. And you want to go to Settings. And the same menu from the Tutorial which is the journey settings is going to pop up again and you can edit the world as much as you want you can turn on god mode, you can increase the spawn rate, increase the difficulty so basically you just go to their world and do whatever you want at that point there you see me using the discord of uh, the rod of discord so you know that I'm not dying, see, just by spamming it you're basically unkillable and this also makes your character, the character you're currently using for the experiment to be immortal so you're basically you're never gonna die unless you do this trick again and you turn it off so that's the first trick pretty neat you can do this in any world also remember that once you exit the menu for the first time the journey settings menu you're gonna have to redo the process to open up the the menu again in their your friend's world because it's only gonna open once and once you exit it uh, it's just gonna bring you back to the original normal settings menu so you will have to redo it uh, but it's pretty easy, nothing too difficult. But yeah, that would be the first trick. How it feels to chew five gum. <laughs> Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing. Oh man, I did like 30 recordings. Ended up deleting all of them just, just to try and make this sound okay. And it's kind of hard to explain this trick. But basically, what you do is you need another friend. You join your own world one of your own worlds uh, it could be any of them I recommend you create one because otherwise it's gonna get deleted and over and that's good that's the purpose of it you're gonna need to sacrifice a world in order to duplicate the world you want to duplicate but basically once you join it save and exit you're back in the main terraria menu as you see what you want to do now is get your friend to invite you to his world whatever it is whichever world it is that you want to duplicate uh, make them send you an invite once you're in it you do the same thing you did with the first world you save and exit once you're done with the once you're back in the main terraria menu you go to settings go to interface interface layout and you go to page groups and once you're here highlight the equipment section which is on the bottom right on, on the screen I highlighted it and then you go to pages you press on it and then on equipment you go down there make sure the equipment section is highlighted and then press equipment twice you're gonna notice that in the background the world appears, the world I was already in, but I shouldn't be there, right? And basically, you already duped the world. What you want to do is you want to back out, you want to press start, save and exit, and as you can see, boom, I duplicated the world. So the world I was in before, which you saw at the beginning, yeah, that world got deleted because sadly, I was experimenting with the glitch and I ended up accidentally deleting my world. But eh, it's whatever. It's no big deal. I didn't really care to beat the game anyways, but yeah. That's how you do the, the world duplication. Also, keep in mind, there are some extra rules that you need to pay close attention to. If you want to get every item that you have in their chest, or you want a certain item from one of their chests, or you want to get all of them, for example, it's an all, all items world you joined. Then for you to get the items from the chest, you need to look at each chest individually, because it's not going to give you the items in the chest once you duplicate it unless you look inside of them that's all you gotta do you look inside of them and then once you look inside the chest you want the stuff from then you du duplicate the world and you'll have the items that were in that chest the same amount same order same everything also another thing to note is that the world once you join the world if you want to duplicate more things like on the on the very edge of the map there's like a dungeon you want to duplicate you're gonna have to walk all the way to it because this glitch only duplicates the chunk you're in basically the spawn point where you join is gonna load everything there but in the rest of the map in the underworld you know in some parts in the sky it's not gonna load it you need to go there fly there go there get there some way like you want to go to the ocean you gotta get there you gotta walk there 
and then once you duplicate then it'll work because you know it recognizes that it only gets the chunk you're currently in and it duplicates it if you got to go to the underworld and you want to dupe that as well then you go to the underworld and that's it for this trick all right for this trick it's basically like the first video i made of this game where i showed you guys how to duplicate with just the chest but this time you require two people same thing join a friend's world you need somebody else to do this drop whatever item it is you want to duplicate <clears throat> they're gonna have a copy of it and then you force quit from the game you join back in and then boom when you go back into their world they send you another invite you join back to their world <clears throat> and they're gonna have a copy of the item and you're still gonna have the items you drop them. so this works with modded stacks and this also uh, works with normal items so you don't need to use a chest in this situation so if you have the convenience of having another person to help you out then there you go oh and make sure to turn off autosave do not leave it on this one is also another imitation of the other trick i did in the previous terraria video where it was basically against Pantera. The only difference is that now, instead of making a portal from side to side, you basically just make a portal to wherever your nurse is, try to trap her inside a small place, like that, and then set up some wires, set up a portal on the lever, and go somewhere else, a little bit far away, to where we fight the boss, she can't get hit, and uh, you set up a portal from there to the nurse, and whenever you get low, you just teleport to the nurse, be real quick to do this and then talk to her and then you heal and then come back into the other part so she doesn't end up dying in the process and this will allow you to basically infinitely heal as long as you have a little bit of money with you so this is a pretty quick trick for anybody that's struggling i remember when i first started out you know killing the gold and stuff like that when i didn't have strong enough items this really helped out a lot and basically i used teleport back and forth from the nurse back into the battle boom bing bang the bosses will obviously follow you like the moon lord some don't you know so it only works with some bosses because planetaria i think despawns if you go far enough but it does work with most bosses as far as i know as long as the distance isn't too great my money don't jiggle jiggle it folds i'd like to see you wiggle wiggle for sure it makes me want to dribble for this last little exploit glitch meh what else uh basically you just grab any type of block it could be literally any type of block and you, you place them down in a straight line make sure to make a straight path and leave a one block gap between each block once you're done placing them down you want to get yourself a hammer and a platform and you want to you first want to use the hammer to hit every single block once you're done hitting every single block you go to the first block and you want to put a platform in its place once you do that, it's basically active, so you start to travel super fast and everything. Here, I made a couple mistakes, so I was trying to figure out how to activate it. But yeah, you have to, like, there. I slowed it down for you. You hit it, boom, make it look like the rest of the blocks, and then put a platform in its place, boom. And then basically, it lets you travel a lot faster than, you know, normal methods. So if you're starting out, it's really good. What is good everybody? Basically I'm just doing a little giveaway here. Uh, the first 10 people to message me on the Xbox, my gamer tag is the same name as my YouTube. Uh, hit me up and I'll give you one of these special goofy hats. And I also want to give a quick shout out to Seven Riches. He's the one that made this video possible and the giveaway possible as well. <laughs> so yeah, pretty cool dude. And that's about it man. Take care y'all.